Hello everyone, it's Justin Sally with Justin Sally Art. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use May Spring pigments and disperse them so you can use them in your acrylic paint. So today I chose three colors, Mermaid Dust, which is from the gemstone collection or sorry the two-tone collection from May Spring and then violet crystal and sh shiny malachite are from the gemstone collection and then there's also a few that I've done that are up on my Facebook and Instagram with the geode art collection each set has 10 different colors in it that coincide with each other and work really well with each other blend the colors blend really well I like these three so I'm going to do these and then show you how to do it so we're gonna start with Joe Sonia gloss varnish it dries clear, it's non-yellowing, quick drying. This is a polyurethane water-based gloss varnish because most of your, or all your acrylic paints are gonna be water-based. So you wanna use something that's water-based. You can use this, which is a polyacrylic, and this is water-based. This is a clear gloss. You can disperse it with this as well. Liquitex, gloss varnish, anything. Really, uh, there's a lots of different ways, and depending on the style of fluid art you're going to be doing, acrylic pouring, you're probably going to mix it slightly different. So, uh, I'm not saying this is the right way. This is the way I do it. If you do it another way, that's awesome. Um, please uh, continue to do what you do, or give mine a shot. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, and we're going to mix mermaid dust first because I opened the top already. So what you want to do is get a little cup and you want to take some gloss varnish and you just want to wet the bottom of the cup, not too much. Then you're going to get your pigments. If you guys can see that we're gonna get a couple little scoops here on this popsicle stick tongue depressor all right you always want to wear gloves and you want to wear a mask. This is really fine pigment powder, mica powder. You don't want to breathe it in. And while I do this, you'll probably see little little pixie dust flying in the air, little sparkles. That's mica powder flying around. You don't want to breathe that in. Always make sure you seal your bag really well. And then go ahead and put it to the side. So we're going to take this mermaid dust. Look at that. That's beautiful. Really pretty color. Kind of a deep turquoise. Maybe a little bit of cobalt. Alright. So basically you're going to mix gently. And you just want to start moving that pigment around the idea is to have all of this pigment powder liquefy you don't want to leave any of the chunks in it and so we're just gonna gently move it around we're just trying to get all those bubbles out there. Make sure you scrape the sides really well. You want to get all that powder 
incorporated into the liquid so we can liquefy it. It's looking pretty good now. So we'll add some medium to it. Most of those chunks are out of there. That just looks like maybe some air bubbles. Looks pretty good. All right. So we're gonna take our medium. There's lots of different ways to make medium for acrylic paint. This is a, a bare acrylic house paint that's mixed with some of this same Joe Sonia gloss varnish. I'm just gonna take a few scoops of it Put it in my pigment. I don't measure, I don't use measuring tools, I just go off of feel. So I can't give you an exact measurement. It's just something you have to play with um, depending on your area and your climate and your temperature. It's going to have a huge effect on everything you use in acrylic pouring so you just want to gently stir this in kind of fold it over it's going to get air bubbles in it but you're trying to prevent that as much as you can This color is amazing though. All right, let me just get in here and get it really good for a second. Probably do it faster than I should. You probably shouldn't whip it this much. You'll cause more air bubbles, but I just wanna show you guys. Then you get it to something that's a pourable state. Something that you can work with. So now we have a pigment that we mixed into a clear base and made our own paint. All right, so I'm gonna whip up some other colors. This uh, violet crystal and this shiny malachite and I won't make you watch it I'll get right back to you so I'm going to stop the video and be right back with you well we got these pigments mixed up this is the mermaid dust Then we have shiny malac malachite. <laughs> and then violet crystal. Look at this.
All right, so I'm gonna do a little painting and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. 